Well, hello. Welcome to Genesis Week 4. Uh, two real significant events take place in this section of Genesis 22 to 28. Uh, two very significant events. The first is which um, is when um, uh, Abraham is asked to, uh, to sacrifice his only son Isaac. And it's important because uh, you remember that Abraham's promise and covenant was that he was going to be the father of many nations. He was going to have the, the, all these descendants, but he had no son. So um, this promised son of Isaac is, means the world to Abraham. It's the fulfillment of a promise that, that God made to him. And now God is asking him to, um, to sacrifice uh, Isaac. And so the story unfolds as Isaac is taken up a mountain and um, Abraham is uh, asked to sacrifice him. And there's a very significant verse after uh, 22 uh, where uh, Isaac is talking to his father. He says, look, Dad, I see the fire, I see the wood, I see, uh, uh, I, I see all of that, but I don't see the lamb. And um, Abraham answers in verse 8, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. Um, and so, uh, as the story unfolds, Abraham actually does not end up sacrificing Isaac. It's a very troubling uh, an account for me uh, because I, I think about what God was asking of Abraham. But the fact of the matter is, if you remember, with many of these Old Testament accounts, they're sort of the beginning of the story as God begins to unfold this act of history that's going to become Jesus and uh, it finally happens in Jesus, where Abraham is has the ability to stop from sacrificing Isaac, but God does not stop from sacrificing Jesus. So as you read some of these accounts, remember that they're kind of pointing us toward this uh, full, full event in Jesus. The second event that is very uh, significant takes place in uh, Genesis chapter 27. Isaac, Abraham dies, Isaac grows, uh, gets a wife, um, has twins, Jacob and Esau. Esau's the older one, Jacob's the younger one. And in that society, uh, the older son, the birthright, got the, the bulk of, uh, of the blessing from the father. But as the story unfolds, uh, Jacob, uh, the younger son, actually gets the birthright. And this is the first uh, of many times when God begins to choose the underdog. He begins to choose the, the second born. He begins to choose the, the weak and the, the outcast. He begins to as, associate with those who don't have a whole lot to offer, and yet God is going to use them and develop this plan for Jesus. The good news is God still does that today. He chooses the underdog. He chooses those of us who don't uh, have a whole lot to offer to be able to, to be the ones to um, uh, to to. To, to fulfill his plan. So uh, these next few verse chapters you're going to read, the story is going to continue to unfold. Jacob uh, and Esau and Isaac and Abraham and uh, just continue to stay with it and uh, continue to look for God as he uh, sort of un unwinds history toward the goal of Jesus. Uh, thanks. Have a great week.